Our guest in this segment is Financial Phil, Phil McCoy from Ameriprise Financial and the Myriad Group of Financial Advisors, Winchester Avenue, Martinsburg. Good morning, Philly. Good morning, guys. How are you all? We're well. What's happening in Phil world? It's July, uh, baby. Dream, man. Yep, it, it's hot and my, my grass is dead, but it is uh, <laughs> it's July. You mean your clover is dead. <laughs> Don't start with me, Rob. Don't start with me. <laughs> Your clover has died. He, he yard shames me. And I he's do. never even seen my yard. I was just going by he yard shames me. Your, like your description morning. of what 1.3 acres of clover, I think you called it. He, he yard shames me. Every, every morning just makes me feel terrible about my lawn, and he hadn't even seen it. I don't know how he does that. Well, is he right? You did actually send is me he, a photo. He, no, he, he, no, he's, not at all. He's very skilled. Uh, Phil, and don't take it personal. He's judgmental, <laughs> and he yard changed me. He's got the ability. To, I don't, and I don't know why. Like I, I, I get off the phone in the mornings, and I feel bad about myself. <laughs> That's what I call in every morning, and he's not even seen my yard. And he just he called he called he said I lost my man card. Wow! Because I had clover. I do have clover, but it's it's not. It's, I mean, it, it's not too bad. If you drove by my yard, you wouldn't say that guy's lazy or. I keep my yard cut and, and First off. groomed. Although in in the you know right now with it not raining, I do have I do have those little white flower heads that are popping up in the shade. But uh, but he makes me feel bad about my. You glass. said you said your entire and you how big is your yard, Phil? Acre and a half? It's two? just it's no, it's just it's just about an acre. Okay, about. okay. and you said the whole thing was clover in a morning conversation we had at 6 38 a.m you said the entire yard was clover i said i'm looking here looking at my and, yard and you said you said the way i deal with it is i just cut it so low no one can tell that i've got a lot of clover those are your yeah. words not mine bro well but yeah i said that <laughs> He was still high off the stuff. horse licking. And, and, then, so. <laughs> yes. and then you blurted out that you beat See, Medicare. Nobody you know understood what, what the heck like, It's been like two weeks now, <laughs> and I haven't talked to you guys, and I, or the horse licking's come up, <laughs> and Jamie, Bill, me and you, buddy, we're, we're the only ones. We're locked up there, Phil. I, mean, I listen to them attack you every day, Yeah, and, I, and, and oh here my. I am walking right into it. Oh, my. Yeah, so. it's just horrible. Yeah. So, anyway, Phil, weed and feed. Two words for you, baby. Weed, feed. That's all I'm saying. Lawn service. <laughs> other t- no, two other words. I mean, the gill strap route. Yeah. Uh, Phil, this is uh, the month of July. It is the month of burnt lawns, as you said, and NFL training camps, right? So uh, you are the champion Steeler fan of all Steeler fans. You're always yes, able sir. to find the positive, even when I, as a lifelong Steeler fan, have not been able to. Certain you shame them as well. Certain yes. times. Uh, what's your prediction for this year? I think the over and under I saw was seven and a half wins. For I the cannot Steelers. figure that out for the life of me. I know I live in fandom, but how do you win? Okay, they went nine and eight last year. No, There's ten and no seven. Argument. They were ten and seven. They didn't go ten and seven last year. Yeah, ten and seven. Did they? Yep. Did they go ten and seven? Whatever. Nine or ten wins last year. And even if you don't like Russell Wilson or Justin Fields, there's no arguing that they are better than Kenny Pickett. And even though I kind of like Mason Rudolph and, and Mason Rudolph and Mitch Trubisky, so they got better at the most important position. They got better on the offensive line. They got better at linebacker. If you remember, they finished the year last year pulling people off the street to play middle linebacker. So they got a solid linebacker. They got better at all these positions except for wide receiver. They'd let Deontay Johnson go, which may be addition by subtraction because he was an attitude problem. And the result is going to be they're going to lose three more games than they won last. It makes no sense to me whatsoever. Although they do have a really, really tough schedule, I'm going to give the Pittsburgh Steelers an 11-6 and record and one playoff win this year. That's, that's going to be my prediction. All right, so you're taking the over on seven and a half. <laughs> I'm taking the way over on seven and a half. Yes, sir. By the way, your wife came to your defense on our Facebook comments section about Thank the you, clover. Thank you, Beth. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate your support. She said the wife stand beside me in this sh- shaming from Rob Mario <laughs> on a, a warm, sunny July morning. Hey, man, the the front lawn is the, it's it's the the gateway to a, to the doorway, man. I mean. It's, it I, makes way to the doorway. It makes fine. a statement. <laughs> it, my it makes my a statement. lawn is a good-looking lawn 
with the exception of right now when all the grass is dead, which is everybody else's is dead as well. The so. gateway to the doorway, I think I just eloquently stated. <laughs> Kilstreff just loves that combination. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, let's let's talk uh, money here. It's uh, been a pretty good uh, couple of weeks here for some tech stocks. Heck, even a, I'd say a good year for a few tech stocks. But the rest of the market, uh, 